it's time for person, place, or thing. Our first player is Maria, and her favorite person is Adriana Lima. Our second player is Heather, and her favorite place is Copenhagen, Denmark. And our third player is Naomi, and her favorite thing is the Titanic. And now, despite the ongoing workplace tension between her and the bird, our host, Melissa Peterman. Come on, bird. I just washed my car. Welcome to Person, Place, or Thing, the game where good detective skills can lead to cash and prizes. And playing with me today, I have three phenomenal contestants who are here to battle it out for their shot to win our grand prize of $5,000. And back for a fourth consecutive day, it is our returning champion, Naomi, who's won hotel stays in Playa del Carmen, Costa Rica, and the Sonoran Desert. But. I know that you're hoping to make it back into that final round to win that $5,000. But I'm guessing that Maria and Heather want to start a winning streak of their own. So let's get started. In our first round, we are going to play each category, a person, a place, and a thing. You may ask me yes or no questions, and I will be giving you clues. Let's go. Hey, Naomi. Hello. Welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, is this true that your favorite thing is the Titanic? Yes. A sinking ship is your favorite thing. No, no, I liked it in its glory. I, I you know, all the facts, the books. I, from a little girl. Before, okay. before Leo and Kate. Before the whole, like, you know, I'm not going to share my door with you. Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, I'm glad that you're here, and hopefully, this will not be a sinking ship going towards an iceberg. Uh, <laughs> so let's, uh, let's get started. <clears throat> we are going to start off our first round with our place category, and I can let you all know that this place is a U.S. city. Is this place on the West Coast? No, it's not. Mm -hmm. Hi, Maria. Hello. Hi, welcome to Person, Place, or Thing. Did I hear your favorite person was? Adriana Lima, uh -huh. Victoria's Secret, well, supermodel. Oh, well, I remember her. Um, we did the runway shows together for years. Um, of course, how could you not? How, I mean, uh, those wings, oh, gorgeous. you know. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. A blessing and a curse, believe me. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Okay, uh, Maria, we're talking about a U.S. city. We know that it's not on the West Coast, so ask away. Is this city highly populated? Yeah, yes, I'd say yes. Hello there, Hello. Heather. How are you? Great. Have you been to Copenhagen? I have twice. Twice. Is it? What's your favorite thing about it? Yeah, the people. The people. I think they're supposed to be the happiest people in the world, and I felt like I found my people. Isn't that nice yeah. when you like you go whether you're traveling anywhere and you just feel like you're at home? Family. Yeah, yeah. that's it's wonderful. Crazy. Well, I hope you feel like that here. Thank you. Except not like family where you're passive aggressive right. and have fights. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. Well, we're talking about a U.S. city. We know that it's highly populated, not on the West Coast. Is it on the East Coast? No, not on the East Coast. Time for a clue, get your buzzers out. Remember, if you buzz in and you get it right, you got 100 points, but if you're wrong, you're out until I give another clue. NASA's Johnson Space Center is located in this Texas city. Maria. Houston? Yeah. Yes, indeed. Looking yeah. for Houston, Texas. Well done, 100 Thank points you. to you. And you are gonna start off our next category, which is our thing category. And I can let you know that this thing is a food. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is this thing healthy? No. Mm -mm. Mm. Not healthy. Not healthy. Okay. Heather. Is this thing a breakfast food? No. <laughs> Naomi. Do you eat this food hot? Yes. You can. Mm -hmm. Time for a clue. This is a popular snack food at sporting events and movies. Maria? Is it nachos? Yes, oh, it's nachos. <laughs> and you can eat them hot or cold, breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or backstage. I love me some nachos. Well done, 200 points. Yay, I love you nachos came too. To pay. I know. <laughs> okay, Heather, you're gonna kick off our last category in this round, and I'm gonna let you know that this is our person category, and this person is an actor. Is this person a man? Yes. Mm hmm. Naomi. Is this person alive? Yes. Maria. Is this person a blonde? No. Mm -mm. Time for a clue, get your buzzers out. This person made their Broadway debut in a 2008 production of Equus. Heather, back to you. Is this person older than 50? Nope. 
They are not. Naomi. Has this person been on TV before Broadway? Yes, they've been on TV before Broadway, but not really known for TV. Okay, Maria. Hmm, has this person won an Oscar? No, mm -mm. Time for a clue, get your buzzers out. He portrayed Weird Al Yankovic in a biopic. <laughs> Naomi. Um, Daniel Radcliffe. Yes! You had that face where you buzzed in and then you go, wait, I forgot his name. Oh, yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> but she got it, Daniel Radcliffe. Yeah, he, I think that the weird Al Yankovic, it's a great, it's a great biopic. I, it's wonderful, pretty Ooh. recent. So if, if you need something to watch, watch that. Great round, everybody. Nice game. Maria is in the lead with 200 points. Naomi right behind with 100. And Heather's not on the board yet, but don't go anywhere. More great questions and even greater clues when we come back. More person, place, or thing. Do you want to learn more about our show and meet today's super fan? Use your smartphone to scan the QR code in the corner of your screen, and you'll not only meet today's super fan, Patricia, but you're going to get access to behind the scenes fun and bonus content. Welcome back to Person, Place, or Thing. She's the dirty liar who said nachos aren't healthy. It's Melissa Peterman. <laughs> They're super healthy. Welcome back. Maria has 200 points. Naomi has 100 points. Heather not on the board yet, but that's about to change because it's time for round two. We play the round two the same as our first round, except we double the points, and you get to pick the category that we're playing. Heather, since you're behind, I'm going to let you start us off. So, Heather, what category would you like to play? I would like to play Thing. Thing. Okay. <clears throat> I can say that this thing is an event. Is this thing a sporting event? No, not a sporting event. Naomi. Is this an annual event? No, not an annual event. Maria. Is this a musical event? Yes, mm-hmm, it is. Time for a clue, get your buzzers out. Remember, this time, if you get it right, it's worth 200 points. This 2017 event was billed as a luxury music festival in the Bahamas. All right, Heather. Is this a classical music festival? No. No. Mm -mm. Naomi. I'm just gonna go out on a limb because I watched something on Netflix. But is this a fire festival? <laughs> yes! Wow. First of all, and I mean, it was supposed to be a luxury, a luxury music festival, but I think it was like a lot of air mattresses and mm -hmm. cheese sandwiches, and it never panned Thunder. out. So, yeah. and it looks like they're planning on doing another one. So sign me up. Wow. Um, well done. Two hundred points to you. All right, and it's your turn to pick the category. What would you like to play? Person, place, or thing? Place, please. Place. Okay. Uh, this place is a business. It's a business. Mm -hmm. Is this? Business, a retail business? Um, no. Mm -mm. Maria. Is this business international? Yes, it is international. Heather. Hi. Hi. <laughs> uh, is this a uh, communication business? No, I'm not a communication business. Time for a clue. Get your buzzers out. This place is a family-owned fast food chain. Maria. McDonald's? It is not McDonald's, which means you're out until I give another clue. Naomi. Is it Wendy's? It is not Wendy's. Do I have to skip you, Maria, until I give a clue? Heather. Not Wendy's, not McDonald's. Is it Chick-fil-A? <gasps> it is Chick-fil-A! <laughs> Well done, 200 points to you on the board, Heather. And Maria, your turn to pick the category. What do you want to play? Person, thing. place, or thing? Thing. All right, Maria, everyone, this thing's an animal. An animal. Is it furry? Is it furry? Yes, it's furry. Heather. Is this animal found in the zoo? Yeah, you could find it <laughs> at the zoo. Okay. Mm -hmm. Naomi. Would you call this animal domesticated? No, I would not call it domesticated. All right, time for a clue, buzzers out. This is a type of marmot native to North America. 
Heather. A squirrel? It is not a squirrel, which means you are out until I give another clue. Maria. Does this animal have stripes? No, it does not. I've got to skip you, Heather. Naomi. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My little one's going to be so disappointed. I you're, forgot you're, what a marmot is. You're, you're, they're going to be they're going to be upset that you forgot what yeah, a marmot is. Yeah, marmot. Mm -hmm. I can't believe it, Mom. Don't know your marmots. I have no idea. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. Okay. Is this a marmot nocturnal? No. They are not nocturnal. Time for a clue. They are sometimes called woodchucks. Maria? Chipmunk? No. It is not a chipmunk, which means you're out until I give another clue. Heather? Um, is it a sloth? No, it's not a woodchuck. But people ask me that so many times a day when they look at me. They just go, okay, all right, Naomi. Okay. Is it a beaver? Oh. It is not a beaver. All right, back in, and Maria, time for a clue. Puxatawney Phil is a famous one. Heather. Groundhog. Oh, it is a groundhog. Nicely done. You went from zero to hero in that round. We had a great game, everybody. Heather just took the lead with 400 points. Naomi right behind with 300. And Maria at 200. But up next, we're going to speed things up and see who's going to walk away a winner on person, place, or thing. Welcome back to person, place, or thing. We're still waiting on our refund from the fire festival. I know. <laughs> TikTok, people, TikTok. Uh, we have a great game here. I love this kind of game because it is very, very close. Heather, 400 points. Naomi, 300 points. And Maria, 200 points, which means we are all entering this third round with a very tight race. And guess what, ladies? It's time for the speed round. So get your buzzers ready. I will be reading you a series of clues about a person, a place, or a thing. When you think you know it, buzz in. If you're right, you got 500 points. If you're wrong, you're out until the next category. Are we ready? Yes. Okay, Jamie, put 90 seconds on the clock, please. You know, I think every kid remembers the day they realized they know more about taxonomic ranks than their parents. Good luck, players. Time starts now. This city is where Nobel Prize ceremonies take place. The music group ABBA was formed here. It's featured in the Girl with the Dragon Tattoo books. Heather. Sweden. No, it is the most populous city in Sweden. Anyone? No, uh, Stockholm. This television icon was born in 1929. This TV host and producer was nicknamed America's oldest teenager. He hosted American Bandstand and the game show $25,000 Pyramid. His New Year's Rocket Eve is now hosted by Heather. Dick Clark? Yes. This thing is often applied with a brush. In the past, beet juice and ground berries were used to create it. It's usually applied to the apples of your cheeks. Naomi. Blush? Yes. This book was published in 1726. This novel is divided into four parts, each representing a different journey. In one of the sections, the title character encounters a race of tiny people. In another voyage, he encounters giants. Anyone? Uh, uh, Naomi. Don Quixote? Nope. Anyone? Anyone else? Time's up. Gulliver's Travels. This person was a Saturday Night Live cast member. She's known for impressions of Martha Stewart and Hillary Clinton. She played an NPR host in a famous sketch with Alec Baldwin. Heather. Tina Fey? No. She's known for roles in Mean Girls and the sitcom American Auto. Anyone? Anna Gasteyer. This thing has existed since around the 1600s. It has a series of lenses. It is used to magnify and observe tiny objects or... Naomi. You buzzed in just in time, and this will be for the win. Okay. Microscope? Yes! Yes! Oh, my God! Okay. Oh, wow. sorry. Heather, you almost had it at 900 sorry. points, but, Naomi, with that buzzer beater, you are going back into that final round for oh a chance God. to win $5,000. Maria and Heather, what a great game. I so loved having you both here. I Thank hope you had a great you. time. And we're
we're not going to send you home empty-handed. So, Jamie, tell them what they want. House of M Beauty is a unisex clean skincare line made in France, featuring the power of medicinal saffron as our main ingredient. With brightening treatment products for all skin types, our formulas are vegan and cruelty-free and EU-compliant. Available at Nordstrom. I hope you enjoy those. And congratulations, Naomi. You're moving on to play for $5,000 in our final round, sponsored by Slotomania. Jamie, tell them about it. Promotional consideration provided by Slotomania, the number one free slots game. Download Slotomania now and get one million free coins. Stick around to see if Naomi is going to win that $5,000. We'll be back right after this. Now it's your turn to play. Scan the QR code to win this amazing prize. The Wyndham New Orleans French Quarter. Steps from the city's most beloved attractions. Enjoy spacious and inviting rooms with sweeping views. WyndhamRewards.com, the world's number one hotel rewards program. Good luck. Welcome back to the final round of person, place, or thing. Okay. I am standing here with Naomi, who is about to play for $5,000 from our friends at Slotomania. Jamie. Tell them about it. Oh, Slotomania, the number one free-to-play slots game in the world, with millions of players and non-stop fun and excitement. Scan the QR code to download Slotomania now and find out what will today spin. Thank you, Jamie. Okay, Naomi, you are so good at this round. And every time, it's just a little bit closer. This is the one. I okay. believe in it, okay? You correctly identify your person, your place, and your thing, and you are gonna take home $5,000 to add to those fantastic <laughs> hotel stays that you already have. We wanna do that, yeah. don't we? Okay, let's get started. Okay. Naomi, I can tell you that your person is a singer, okay? Your place is a landmark, and your thing is a movie. Where would you like to start? Um, place, please. You wanna start with your place category, which is a landmark. <laughs> Jamie, put 60 seconds on the clock. No, oh, win or lose, you'll be back again next time, just like your own personal Groundhog Day. <laughs> it's a kind of fun <laughs> Groundhog Day, <laughs> isn't it? Okay, deep breath, Naomi. I know you got it. Okay. Good luck to you. you. Time starts now. Uh, is this an international landmark? Yes. Is it in Europe? No. Nope. Is it in Asia? No. Uh, no. Clue, please. This landmark near Cairo, Egypt, features one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Is it the, the pyramids, the Sphinx? Yes. Okay. The thing is a movie. Um, is it a uh, uh, clue? This 1985 sci-fi comedy classic centers around the McFly family. Um, the, uh, Back to the Future. Yes. Okay, we've got a singer. Uh, clue. This legendary British rock lead singer was knighted in 2003. Sir Elton John. No. Nope. Uh, Rock, um, was he from a band? Uh-huh, yes. Um, a brand that's still playing? Yes. Uh, Paul McCartney? No. Nope. Uh, the Ringo Starr? No. Nope. Um, was this, um, it, from the 80s? Uh, yes. From the uh, 80s, okay. Um, oh my gosh. Um, I don't know. You got time, come on. I, I, um, I don't know. Uh, oh! oh. You were the getting there, okay. Um, what if I said he was the lead singer of the Rolling Stones? You guys, I am a pop. What if I said it <laughs> rhymed with Lick Mager? Mick Jagger. Mick Jagger, oh, okay, okay, all right. Okay. There we go, we were looking oh. for Mick Jagger. Okay, again, you are having a Groundhog Day here because you get two out of the three every time, but that's pretty great, right, Naomi? Yeah, yeah. Two out of the three, so Jamie, tell her what she's won. You're off to an all-inclusive getaway to the beautiful Wyndham Ultra Cancun. Situated in Cancun's lively hotel zone on a spectacular stretch of sand, this family Friendly resort, both sprawling pools, full service spa, 10 incredible bars and restaurants. WyndhamRewards.com, the world's number one hotel rewards program. And Naomi, you are coming back to play for another chance to win $5,000 as our returning champion. And remember, people, call a person, invite them to your place, tell them to come over and watch uh, this thing. <laughs> You're still watching? Oh my God, thank you. Well, in that case, be sure to stay up to date with Person, Place, or Thing by smashing that subscribe button. There's full episodes, behind the scenes content, and even a few surprises, and they're just a click away. You can go now.